Six cents. I should say we're. Mark, if you want to say what I want. Yeah, but move the curve for all that flex and go away. Yeah, should. Yeah. My entire thing goes just checking, Kenny. You can't see and hear us. That is correct. Yeah, I, I see it. Yeah, and hear you both. Yeah, we're in good shape. All right, we are uh, officially recording, and uh, it is 11 o'clock. So we will call the Grant County Drainage Board to order February 14th. Happy Valentine's Day, folks. I guess I my wife this morning said, said happy Valentine's and she goes, oh, yeah, that is today. All right, we have minutes. Uh, who has the I go right there. Minutes from our last meeting. You did. You cracked my whip. Everybody was here except me, right? Because I had a <laughs> diverticulitis flare up. I tried this one. See that? Oh, wait a minute. That one was too much. Okay. Can we approve the minutes and present Motion, Mr. Cox, to approve minutes as presented. Second, Mr. Gaw. Uh, any questions, comments, uh, corrections? Hearing none, all those in favor would say aye. 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 At an aye via WebEx, three ayes in the room, and uh, I will abstain because I was not in that meeting. So uh, it's carried uh, four to one abstention. And we will go to uh, our vast amount of claims today. You wanna walk us through that, Raymond? Yeah, we have, we have Brad, our rail engineering, $480 on Barron Creek. It's for three incidences where he went out and inspected on location. Do you, you want to see these or just mention them? Um, yeah, they're they're lumped into that 480, right? Yes. Okay. It's all one bill. Then we have uh, Oswald Stone and Gravel, $481.44 for um, hauling riprap to the Hollis Daughtery. Um, we, the Hollis Daughtery came in, they raised the rate. They didn't have enough to do what they're doing in the fund, but you guys voted to let them do it because they were going to pay it back this year what they were doing. They had erosion locations and we figured while we were there, go ahead and put the stone in versus having to wash back in and have to revisit the location. So remind me where the uh, ordinance on the Hollis Daughtery is. Hollis Daughtery's uh, south and east of Upland drains Dollar Lake goes down and around. It, it wasn't on maintenance south of 26, but they came to the area and got it put on maintenance and doubled the watershed. And okay. That, so that was what the stone was for. And then we had one more come in from the Hollis Daughtery. You have to suffer with me or be patient with me. Mary's gone, Jim's gone, and you got me doing both. <laughs> so uh, BE POW excavating is the gentleman that was uh, our company digging the Hollis Daughtery. His uh, bid was, or his quote was 19,000. Um, part of it changed. Um, he's not leveling part of it because the farmers are taking off the, the soil. He has some still two level, but this is, uh, and this is for putting in the two rock shoots that the stone went to. So, and he, so Raymond. yeah. And he from Hartford City. He's, he's from Montpelier. Okay. But he's got a cutter on his machine that is wonderful. It takes everything down to uh, uh, oh, mulch. I mean, it, it's it's a nice machine. But he's got a bill for seventeen thousand seven hundred eighty dollars. That's the three claims that we have. Okay, so if we pay this uh, 17,000 that just came in, that does put us in the hole. We're, according to the state board of accounts, we're supposed to run ourselves in the hole and then bring ourselves out at the appropriate time. So that's what we've been practicing. Well, you know what that collects in the fall? It collects 37,000 annually. 
Okay. So fall payment. Well, spring spring, spring back. back. Spring payment. Okay. Spring payment. Spring. Yes. yes. That's what I meant. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, that's the way it's supposed to work. Bowling Camp is also doing a portion of the top, but we are we knew that with him going in. I mean, the funds were they will repay it this year for sure okay. with with extra. Questions on the uh, claims? Who, who was that? Seventeen thousand two. Uh, B E Powell. E O W P L L excavating. It was brought to us through Blackford Surveyor's Office. So I mean, we we have his information. We've sent him jobs before, and he he wants some in the future. So he's on our list now. Okay. I'll make a motion to pass. Motion to pay the claims is presented from. Uh, any Kate's on WebEx? Second. I'll uh, I'll take Richard second. Okay. All right. <laughs> so we have a motion with support. Any other discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor would say aye. All right. Uh, aye. And we know I bet via WebEx, that's uh, one WebEx and four eyes in the room. That's unanimous. All right. We'll slide through old business. We kind of discussed this uh, little crane pond issue. Uh, really, it's uh, how appropriate billing, I think, in the future will, will be done. Uh, once again, I'll push our two attorneys buttons after we, uh, we get through this week and, and go from there. Nothing new uh, regarding solar ordinance. So I'm, do you have other old business gentlemen? On that crane pond, how they charge us by the week or month or year? We we charge them. I think he's talking to the company. the attorneys. Any any time they talk. Yeah, yeah the attorneys. How they charge us by the week, yeah, month, they or talk, year? They that's that's kind of infinitum until we sign it some paper somewhere or just let it go. We're gonna have to get them in the room. Yeah. We're gonna settle it. And we let them go. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, let's go to new business. And we've got Moriarty and Mc, 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 McMahon. McMahon. Okay, thank you. <laughs> and Amy's gonna talk to us about that. If you don't mind, I are you gonna speak for Amy for a minute? Give a little background okay. on the ditch. On the maps that I give you, it's the green. Green ditch south of Van Buren. It dumps in the big black creek and goes south of 125 north. They they got it on, they took it to a public hearing and got it to collect starting in 2020. And they've got just uh they've got nineteen thousand dollars, two hundred and sixty-two cents in the fund. And they would like to start spending some of the money, and I think that's enough to get them from Big Black over to State Road Five. I, mean, I won't know for certain until we start doing some bidding because we haven't had any bids for a while, and nothing's gone down in price. <laughs> so, I, I do you need more than that, and Irby and present to request it. Um, I, I think what we do is. Don't we usually uh, get permission to uh, get some bids and mm -hmm. we just go from there? So I think it's that's uh, our next step. I had come with uh, Mick Roush requested that I said bring it before the board and you guys wanted a, a formal request from a property owner. So Amy came to be the formal request. Okay. So yeah, I think that <laughs> next step is let's get our bids and bring it back and. See if it looks something. Okay. No, I'll get it in the works as far as getting bids out. Mm -hmm. It'll take a little bit, but not for long. <laughs> Does no. any of this water run through Van Buren? Yes. Yeah, it goes in a big black above Van Van Buren. It goes through Van, right. Van Buren or beside it. Do you remember we had a problem with town board or somebody at Van Buren? That, that's the roots run. That's the okay. roots run. 
Okay, that's the one that goes through, through town. Yeah, right? okay. Yeah. It, it's not connected with roots. Okay. Which I'm, I'm glad you brought that up. That is another conversation for another day, but. That one needs done. Yeah. Uh, it needs to go on maintenance. <laughs> Which they objected to the last time. Down, the town the town did. shot it down. Yeah. Next or yep, is that up on Moriarty? We've got everything we need to move forward with Moriarty. So okay, then we we'll go to the Monroe Ditch of Luger. That's the on your map down by eighteen and five. It's the pink and the yellow. The the pink is what they did last year. Um, Randy came in and had John in here give us a price. There was beaver dams blocking the ditch up and it needed dredged. Uh, John gave us a price and did from State Road 5 downstream, brushed. Then we had him dig it. And then we also had him go all the way down, pulling out log jams on the pink line. What Randy's here for today is a request that we go from upstream from 5 on the yellow line all the way over to where it goes underneath 18 again to the east. We've got six different landowners and John in here gave us a price on each one. And there's a list of them and a total at the bottom and it totals 91,000 some odd cents there. There, there is 178,000 in the fund. And it pulls in 64,000 each year. In the past, in the past, the um, it's Luger Creek contributaries. And over the last decade, quite a bit of money has been spent over towards Landis. And Hamfield area. And they're just requesting the, the money be spent on their part. In, in a previous discussion. That area that dips right down there to 18, did we say that has a hard, it doesn't have much of a fall? Or am I thinking about another ditch? It seemed like right there at 18, there wasn't much of a fall. Unless maybe the far Hudson, which is a little more east there. Okay. I know it doesn't have a lot of fall. So we got there's... a decent fall that we can work on? Uh, I do believe so. Okay. I think they, um, John took. Squeak or John Vineyard brought it up to State Road 5 following the old grade. So it's as deep as what it was before okay. or what it was originally. I would put it that way. We didn't do a bunch of dredging downstream because downstream it does have a lot of fall and just need to log out of the way. Well, we've got a request in front of us, gentlemen. We do have money. And uh, they're a part of the with the project that big. Do we need multiple quotes? Um, it is over seventy-five thousand. Mm -hmm. We did split it into six different prices, possibly to avoid that conflict. But I understand your thoughts. Yeah, and actually, the Indiana code doesn't allow you to split it to avoid. The only way we can do that is that we'd have to just do part of it now, and then when they get that done, come back and redo it. Would you be in favor of that? How about doing the first? The first go from State Road Five over to a thousand. Do the first three of them. That would make it. Hmm. Then take a look at it. What's what's the what's the first three is fifty seven fifty eight thousand twenty nine one twenty two three thousand and seven fifty one twenty five. Do they all run together? Yes. Yeah, it's one big long. I, I know as far as. Indiana code that pertains to us, it's 25,000. You think it's about 25? Yeah. Well, it's at least. Then if it's over 75, yeah. then we have to do, we have to advertise over 100. We have to set up an escrow account and hold the change. So you're the drainage board, I'm surveyor. <laughs> 
how that pertains to drainage or I mean, uh, I'm guessing yeah. public funds or public funds. I'm gonna I'm gonna say we probably ought to err on the side of caution. Caution and and put out the bid. Can could we uh could we get the first section done? Seeing how he's here to in person to request it. I just Did you see put the set down. Yeah. Well, you understand what they're saying, Randy? Right there. There it is. I understand they don't want to spend the money. No, it's that it's all it's the lump sum that's over an amount that they're allowed to over the seventy five thousand. Yeah, the state board of accounts flags this and then and we get our hands slapped. We get our hands slapped for misappropriating good money. Could we approve the first three and then him bring come back? In two weeks with the other three and present them. We could do that. I could get another band. You know, Blake Powell. You just play Blake Blake Powell. I know him. Okay. He's done work for me. Uh, he won't be no cheaper. Fuel's no cheaper. I I think they just need a second quote. If if we if we do anything over seventy five thousand, we've got to have three, three quotes. Great. Do you? Yeah. Well, let's just go one phase of it. And next year I'll be back here again. Well, boy, you've got the equipment there. I mean, we time to do it all. Yeah, I mean, but do, if he done two separate quotes for part one and part two, will that get you past the state board of exams? Or if you ask for phase one and phase two? Was it different you doing, the, doing that in Pipe Creek when they take out log jams and multiple landowners in a series? When you move equipment in, you want, you want to get it done. The equipment's already sitting there. Yeah. If we vote, vote on a half of it this time and half of it next. Will that work? That would work in my eyes. I don't know if it will in you guys' eyes. Some, somehow or another, we have to massage ourselves around the, the 75,000. And the first twenty nine thousand, I think, gets us going. Um, gets us twenty eight hundred feet, quarter of a mile. About. Yeah, just over a quarter of a mile. So, so you guys are decision. I mean, with it, do as much as seventy thousand will get you done. That'd be what is it? Six parts to it? If you get yeah. four parts. You get four parts for well, there's three, 73, 74,000. There's three parts from State Road 5 to 1,000, and then there's three more parts from 1,000 over to 18. Which is the most important part? <laughs> well, I mean, is it over to 18, or, or where, where's the head wall? The head wall is. The head wall is still another mile and a half, mile and a half south. Yeah. What did they do on Troyers? They they done work over on Troyers ditch right past me. On Isaiah Wall, the one that goes up to the road, yeah, uh, the county road. Yeah. That was bid out last year and ten years did that. But they stopped right at my property line. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> So if we do the first three, well, and we had authorized up to a thousand or seven and a half, then a thousand, we 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 get that first, essentially the first three done. Yes. We, and then we about then they can come back and read bring the other three, 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 three. three. Yeah. be a second. He can bid on again. Yeah. Finish it up. I I, I see I see that's probably our only way around it right now. I move that I we can make motions. No, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> move that we allow in your construction to uh, <laughs> excavation to do this work to a thousand east is at this time. Second. <clears throat> Motion, Mr. Cox, and second, Mr. Golf, to uh, allow uh, work up to a thousand east. And then maybe Dave can come in with the second one. Yeah, I'll do that. Discussion. 
Questions? Hearing none, all those in favor would say aye. 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 We had four ayes in house, one on WebEx. Thank you. We are unanimous. So we've got that, we've got that moving. Okay. Um, I got more. You got more. <laughs> let's let's go to the other business and you bring us up to date. Um, start with Brushy Run. Uh, Brushy Run is the pink line on your map with a little bit blue on each end. They brought it and got, they brought it to a public hearing and got it collecting maintenance in 2020. They're up to just short of fifteen thousand dollars. And uh, Amy Lozier was the one that put Rushy Run got it, pushed it to get it on maintenance. She prefers uh, John excavating, John's repair from Gas City, Andy Rickner, and she got Andy to give us a price. What Andy gave us a price was from starting. It's not quite all of the pink line now. He's starting from the pink line, which downstream towards 69 is a farm crossing for Frank Hicks. Brushing and dredging up to 600 and then 450 feet west of 600, brushing and dredging that. And that that price is 17,000 is what he gave me for a quote to do that much work. They were, we were hoping to go further, but there's more more sediment in it and more of the brush is bigger than we anticipated and thicker than we anticipated it. But that will let them start spending their maintenance money on their ditch that they're paying on and it pulls in $6,653 a year. So spring collection should take it past what they're gonna charge for it. How soon is he gonna do it? As soon as weather breaks. Still before spring. Yes. Well, hoping to. You know what happens. You get two inch rain and yeah, it takes forever to dry out. That's the brushy brushy run. Do you need any more detail than that? Um, we've got right fifteen k in the uh, the account. Yes. We're looking at seventeen and a draw of. Enough in the spring to, to uh, cover it. take yes. care of the balance. So, what's your uh, thoughts, Jim? We have a hard copy of that that quote. <clears throat> no, no, I do not. Where me and Amy both take him as his word. I, it's not going to change. I so you're going to give us a hard copy of? Yes. It. Oh yes. Oh yeah. The same way with the in your I'll have him get us one for those first three. What's your privilege, gentlemen? I'll make a motion. Motion to Mr. Pinkerton. Up to seventeen thousand. I'll second that. It'll be a set price, so no fluck sheet. Quite good. So. And Richard, you seconded that. Any other discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor would say aye. 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 I did hear Mr. Cage uh, say aye on WebEx. All right, that's what you know. What else we got? Uh, Just information now. I don't know. Uh, I received a phone call from Chad Baker of Right Away Management. He was just touching base to make sure that we were still on board with spray program this year. I was pretty confident in telling him that you guys were wanted him to do more. I need to talk with him about when he started. He said that we would spray some of the ditches a couple of years and then maybe be able to skip a, a year or two need to get fine tune that with him, knock some of them down off of the list. There's plenty to add to the list to equal what we paid in the past. 
He did say that the price would be going up a penny to two cents per foot. I didn't think that would be an issue with you guys. Nothing's going down price wise. I didn't know if you want to add more footage on than what we have been spraying. We've been spend, spending pretty. First year was uh, 45,700 odd cents. The second year was 45,400 odd cents. Do you want to stay around that? Area, or do you want to increase it? There are other ditches that are in basically clean that could be start spraying. I don't necessarily, yes, I don't know. I don't have a list in front of me, but my, my guess is the, the ones that we have already had petitioners to increase the amount that we told them that, that spraying was going to be a part of that system. We probably need to target those first. Okay. Like the Doyle Ferguson, the switcher improvement we did last year, the ones that we've added to our roster that yeah. are okay. I, there, there's an expectation there. They said they were going to raise this and part of it was going to be for spraying. So do I you, think we need to follow up on that. Do you want part of Deer Creek pursued? Big Deer Creek or that I know rights have mentioned it. And it's not a you can't do a whole I thought Gordon did all that big area, but <laughs> Well, I'll take care of mine. Yeah. <laughs> With the lorry, I'm going to take care of it. Yeah. That's a problem. I want to get Taylor Creek. Okay. Now, question. Did you talk to him? Is he coming over doing over around Muncie and then we're second on the line so we get in early or what? Yes, he said about the same time frame as last year. And yeah, he starts down in Anderson, Madison County. Yeah, that's what's getting in. Yeah. That way you get in there early. He he said we were basically on the same schedule as uh towards the end of May or early June, I think is what he said. Yeah. That'll work. I, I think right now we just make the assumption that we're gonna spend right at about the forty five and forty six thousand okay. again and and see what that'll get us. Okay. I I know there's surely there'll be some of them that can come off. I mean, I know we've done Little Creek, we've done Little Deer Creek. I don't because they don't need sprayed every year, do they? I, Once they I, get started, I wouldn't think every other year or something. And he had mentioned oh, that to start year. with. He, uh, yeah, I, I'm, hopefully we can don't, don't have spray them over here because it's the end of work. So. But you know, some years they'll get a kid, yeah. and the next year it won't get a kid for some odd reason. <laughs> Position of the moon. Position yeah. of the moon. <laughs> some of the guys <laughs> swear by that. Yeah. Putting toward on on them, depend on the moon. Works. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. Um, what, what else we got? We have Amy's, Amy Lozier's. Working on the drainage up around Van Buren Township, and uh, we're going to be having Buck Run hopefully come to uh, with a petition for a public hearing. We're going to have por a portion of Baker come before a public hearing. Um, Steve Comer had me work on a watershed for Middle Fork. I got that to him, gave him a petition. I haven't heard anything else from him. It's a huge watershed, and I think he, I don't think he, in, I think he got more than he anticipated. Major <laughs> problem. Yeah, it is a huge watershed, and how you're going to appease everybody in it, that's going to be a fun one. Yeah, it's been a lot go. This hasn't been any work done in years and years. Early. So, I don't know how we're going to get it. Maybe get, we get it working out. Cause need <laughs> we've, got, we've got a little work on Luger Creek and Tribs to do, but it, it's just hourly rate um, leveling some dirt to, in your dugout either last year or the year before was in a hurry to get the distance done and had other places to be and the dirt never got leveled, but hopefully get an hourly rate from a contractor and say go level the dirt and shit. Um, that's pretty well, I do believe all I have for you gentlemen. I think, oh, 
Orion a lot's got a pawn ordinance, but that's I'll let Ryan talk about that one. <laughs> Raymond. Mr. Chairman. Yes, sir. Hey, Raymond. On 600, there are Phil Genesis. Okay. What ended, what ended up? How'd you get that gravel, that riffraff and stuff out from underneath that bridge on 600? I never heard back from Phil. I don't know what their conclusion was. Phil Jennis was either going to get his brother-in-law or son-in-law either to go in there or Redmond was going to go in there and get the rip uh, the blockage out of the way for now and then come back with uh, some kind of a structure price wise for putting a, a surface inlet for the surface water because right now there's too much water coming and the rip rack won't hold it and just keeps washing back into the ditch. Okay. But I left it in See, that holds that holds up that uh, what is it, Sims Franklin? Yes. That holds that water up there, Steve Berry's. Yes. Now, I got them chasing it. I don't know what their conclusion was at the moment. Okay. Well, I'll call Phil and find out. Okay. You know, we Brian, want to get it open. Brian, why don't you talk to us about this? Uh ordinance you want us to think about okay. uh again uh handed it off i believe last drainage board meeting maybe two ago uh just wanted to see if you guys had a chance to uh start perusing it and any input thoughts if you guys just copy i looked at it but i don't remember what i well, since I wasn't here last week, I don't know if they talked about it last week or last time or not. So it came in the email. Yeah. yeah. But I don't it's think it's base. To discuss between us yet, Ryan. Okay. Okay. <laughs> but ultimately this has to do with ponds less than an acre. Yes. Whether we want to uh put our hand on this or not, right? Right. Okay. And and again. What you have is is kind of just getting something on paper and for you guys to start molding it. How how you guys want to see it. And and again, does that uh, come through us to you and then the APC brings it to the commissioners or did the drainage board bring it directly to the commissioners? Well, that's that's kind of what we got to figure out. Uh, <laughs> through the examples I got, half of them go. APC BZA, half of them go drainage board uh, or survey or drainage board. So, I mean, that setbacks, how much permits cost, you know, the whole nine yards. I kind of put it on paper. The examples uh, I gave with the packet to the counties that we looked at, this could be, again, a paragraph in the ordinance. It could be a page. It could be eight pages. It just depends on what you want to see. Right now, we have nothing. Um, I'm, I'm not going to assume that I'm passing the buck here, but what I'd like to do uh, as I think about it is have Jim contact surveyors that he's comfortable with similar uh, counties to us and ask them what they're doing. Did it in the back. Oh, did he? Okay. If he's already done that, he did. Oh, you did you contact? That's his packet, right? Yeah, I, I pulled uh, I pulled ordinances from I believe ten different counties, and that's the basis of what you have on paper. Okay, and that's I'll, surrounding counties. I still want our survey to ask his his counterparts if he they like what they've got. Sure. Because most of the time, you know, if it's an issue, we're going to send Jim out or Raymond out first before some of us. Go stomping in the mud too. Uh, right. Thing. So I want I want our surveyors department uh, office to be comfortable before we say yeah it's going to be drainage or yeah it's going to be ABC. And our fr from the area plan standpoint, I mean our biggest thing we get asked what's the setbacks where where the fill can be, uh, you know site plans you know where where they're digging what's underneath of it. Uh, we don't know if they're digging over drain tiles, septic tanks, and right now no one looks at anything. So that's our biggest concern is just, you know, making sure that they're not digging into a septic field 
why they're why they're building their pond. All right, we'll uh, we'll see what we can turn around here in the next couple of weeks. Then appreciate it, Ryan. Yep. I won't be here next meeting. You will not be here next meeting. Benny, you're still planning on being in. Uh... Need to be. Yeah. Okay. I, can, I can fly home just for the meeting, but I, I need to be down here. We got. To... <laughs> if, if you still need to be there, you've got four. Four meetings that you can be on and then you have to show up in person and then you get like a reset. Okay. Next, next time you could still do webex if you want to. Okay. Appreciate it. We're trying to get this thing open down here. It, I don't think it'll be open by December. That's amazing. And you, you've got hundreds and hundreds of people that are all trying to get their stuff back together, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, there's 75 in this, in this place of ours and, you, and, and problem is there has to be a sizable assessment. Okay. Yeah. And a lot of them can't afford it. Show me the money. That's right. Yeah. It's a good thing you got that, that, uh, all that deductible money that you need. <laughs> all right. Hey, we got any other business? Raymond shaking his head now. You got anything, Kenny? No. When we're doing a second. I got it. <laughs> well, it's too late. Mark Pace did talk to you. Hey. <laughs> I just meant we wanted to make an effort, and we talked about it. And of course, we're going to have a hearing. I don't know what it is, but I think we need to make the wording: it's a refund of the money, not a reimbursement. A refund of the money. I, I don't know if that's yeah. the term. But well, a reimbursement would get that'll get a state board 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 on a yeah. refund because it paid in and it's not going to be, you know. We use the right terminology, and maybe that's it. I don't know. Okay, we'll uh, have to that's check with Kyle on that. Yeah, maybe we we should have time if you would when you finish. What, just a minute before you, Raymond. Yeah, have you? Has anybody talked to you about the lumbo? Yeah, I had an S H and S Farms. They called saying that they did not have a home site on their property and I didn't have the the bill in front of me and those bills are confusing. They thought they had a home site charge, but they do not. The ones that I've talked to, I haven't, I haven't had any disgruntled people call in. Well, I thought that there was confusion. Last meeting, meeting for well, that uh, when when we set the hearing, we set it the last meeting in January or December, and and there was confusing over whether it was a fifty dollar assessment or a fifteen. They couldn't couldn't see the one or something, if I remember right. But they ended up making it fifteen dollars, and this is really not going to do much. It's just. As long as they don't take take this money and patch tile, why, uh, you know, you never will get it fixed. Um, so, I mean, I reckon we'll have a hearing. The hearing is set for next meeting. So if I can get away, we can bring it down, but we can't take it up. I know, I know, I know, I know. But I'm saying, uh, Raymond, when they sent it out, they sent it out at fifteen dollars, right? I do believe. So that's our cap right now. The what? That's the cap that we can't we can't raise it anymore because I, I know, but it was set up instead of fifty, it was set out sent out at fifteen, right? Well it sounds. <laughs> okay. Well, you know, I mean we'll have a hearing and and probably get the thing passed, but uh, it won't get enough money in to... What? They come back, they come back 
six months or so and get it raised. See, there won't be a collection on it. Right, not until next year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not until so. 2024. Yeah. I guess if, if, if the landowners know, if they recognize that they're not going to have enough money, they could petition it again to raise it further before 2024. Mm -hmm. If they come to the realization they're not going to have enough money to do anything. Well, bring it up. You know, you take a you take a twenty a mile of twenty four inch tile smooth tour, and then run a eight alongside of it to to pick up the the uh, laterals. Yeah, laterals. You know. <laughs> uh, Twenty thousand dollars is not going to do much. <laughs> so, but anyway, we'll have the hearing and and uh, see what who shows up and uh, go from there. All righty. Yeah, we'll we'll get them off of whatever normal is right now and see how comfortable they are and and they can petition us to increase it more if they want to. Yeah. Well, I just. Interested to see if anybody talked to Raymond about it. But. Okay, I'll entertain that motion now that. Who's, who, who did that? Richard and Pat, you know, respectively, we have a motion yep. to uh, adjourn from Richard and seconded by Pat. All those in favor would say aye. Aye. Uh, all right, that's one WebEx and one uh, or four in the, uh, the room. And we are going to uh, call ourselves adjourned at 11.41 p.m. A.M. <laughs> Feels like the end of it all. All right. You want me to call you here in a couple minutes, Kenny? Yeah, call me if you will. All right, I will. I can't take off my heart. <laughs> Well, that's something I do have experience in. Probably. So we just broke the law. We don't care. We just told you.